There's been chaos at the Tema port today as the opposition National Democratic Congress led freight forwarders to protest the new port operation system Unipass. The Ghana Revenue Authority began using the integrated Unipass system at the Tema port and other entry points in April despite strong opposition against the new platform by some stakeholders in the import and export business as well as some civil society groups. Well, today the NDC led the protest against what it describes as a retrogressive system causing revenue loss to the state. My colleague, Chrissy Parker Wilson, captured this. Right, so we are here at the uh, port, I mean, the Gapua Revenue Centre just behind me, where the freight forwarders and, of course, all those dealing in cargoes uh, come here to pay their money to ensure that their goods are cleared. But, of course, uh, some of them have been saying that there were challenges with the implementation of the Unipass. Some say they've been here for the past two weeks and nothing is happening. Let me speak to some of the uh, freight forwarders who are here. And let me say that the NDC actually came here today uh, to ascertain the challenges faced by the implementation of Unipass and also listen to the concern of some of the freight forwarders. But uh, whilst they were at the long haul, of course, uh, the revenue center, uh, some of the security officials stormed there and drove them away, including the media as well. The officers, the security officers, have come to distract the issues and driving away the people. They're pushing all of us, and, and this is the situation. And of course, the fifth floor is hooting at them. So it's a very chaotic scene here at the Timo GRA, uh, the customs of the revenue. Uh, uh, um, um, centre. This is what is happening here at the moment. The security officers are not happy with the situation. The NDC came to uh, have a quick conversation with the stakeholders to understand their challenges, but uh, as they were engaging them, the security officials here uh, have come uh, to to drive them away. In fact, they strapped the uh, press conference. So the foot forwarders themselves are not really too happy with the situation. They they are screaming and hooting uh, to the security officials and have asked us uh, to leave their premises and and ordering all cameramen and of course reporters to equally leave uh, the place. So this is the situation here at. Um, at the Tema Port at the moment, the Revenue, revenue uh, um, um, Centre. It was a bit of a chaos, and so they were asked to leave the premises, and this, that is why you see us um, at the, in front of the uh, building the, the, this morning. Uh, this man is here, he's been very... Um, He's been speaking uh, on some of the issues and raising the concern. First of all, what is your name and please who are you, sir? Yes, my name is Michael Johnson. I'm a freight forwarder. Right, so tell us, what are some of the challenges you are facing? You clearly are facing some challenges. What are they, sir? The challenges we are facing is nothing is working. Everything is manually. When you pay duty, after duty, you go to shipping line to release. They'll ask you to go to Nick Hotel. After the shipping line, I've sent a, a message that they have been released. The ship, the Nick Hotel, the other officers, customer officers at the Nick Hotel come to six, which is not part, which is not part, which is not part of, of, of the jurisdiction of the port. Long, like, long room is the jurisdiction of the port. Come to six is not part. It's the owner of the Nick Hotel, the man who is in collaboration with Osafo uh, Mafo to bring this it's policy not into. Allegation we can't it is not an allegation. For you can take yourself out of it. Right. Then you can take it out of it. But every substance, there's ironing of truth in it. There's every, every, every rumor, there's ironing of truth in it. And what is happening is you pay everything after paying everything. When you come to the Kapua for them to drop your container, look at we all here are come to pay for our containers to be dropped for us to open. The importers are here, but one week now, since Monday, we can't even get our, our pay to go and pay. So you've been here for how many weeks? For more than two weeks now. Yes, yeah, some are three weeks. And what happens is, what happens is, what happens with the GCNET, with the GCNET, when you send them, when you send, when you send your entry or you send information, within a day, the GCNET will come. Within a day, when you send information, this net will give you a reply and you pay it. Now, when you send over two or three weeks, you will not get your item. So clearly, you're not happy with the camera. It's, no, it's not going through nothing. It's not the wrong. How can you walk around with the, 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 the six hotel? It's not going through. Right, thank you very much. First, are you also facing the same challenge? Yes. And how long have you been here? 31 years in port experience. Right. So, what is going on now? I want to send a signal to the government of the day. Yeah. Some people are at Gabua disturbing them. Yeah. If the minister doesn't rise up, there will be a problem. The, re the reason is this new icon is the same system that MPS is using. 
and NPS can work through your system. GPH, three weeks, two days, four days, one week, they can give you bail. And they will still charge you rent. The poor intentionally delay us and take rent without giving us a, 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 a waiver. It's not a serious as my delay you. My documents are there still. I am taking, I'm working on 18 containers. Since yesterday, up to now, I haven't got bail. So what do we to do? So uh, these are some of the security officials who drove the NDC yeah. and the media out. And then um, as I speak to uh, one of the freight forwarders and the importers, uh, they are back again to uh, drive us out and asking us to leave their premises. So this is the situation here at the um, Gapoha Revenue Centre. Uh, the, uh, the long room was a bit of chaos, actually. And clearly the importers and the freight forwarders are not excited with the implementation of the Unipass and are asking government to quickly withdraw. Last three weeks. Uh -huh. Since last three weeks, we are not able to take delivery of these goods. The man is paying almost 8,900. Even while he was given 21 days free, because of the delays in the system, we cannot clear. The, all the demand that they have given is gone. How is this impacting on your business? Then? In fact, it's affecting us. Because if you don't clear, how can you get money to go and look after your children? That is the problem. Because instead of one thing you have to do, you have to take the whole three, four, three weeks. So it's very useless. We don't need this system. It must go. It For must... the purpose of clarity, before this, the introduction of the system, how long did it take for you to clear your My brother, it was taken one day, you, almost one day or two days, you are done. One day, two days, you are done. Nobody complained about GCNet, nobody complained about West Blue. We don't know where this system is coming from. It has come to hurt everything. Everything. Demolish are going on, government is also saying about the demolish. Even the government owned Gapoha. They are China's rent. Meanwhile, the problem is from them, but they say China's rent. We pay rent for them. For their own uh, 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 what they intelligence, selfishness. My brother, what can have to happen? And I'm a I'm a freight forwarder. Okay, so my concern is about the demolish. Okay. Look, when this pandemic issue started, there was a lot of waivers given to all the cargoes going to Togo. The same MEX line and other shipping line existing in Togo, they were giving waivers to all their agents. But why in Ghana in particular, we, we are not supposed to enjoy these waivers? During the pandemic, I'm going back, coming forward. We have a lot of projects in Togo, they were giving them full waivers for about a month or two. But the same company in Ghana, we are not having waivers. Why are the shipping lines refusing to give us waivers? This coronavirus issue, is it our fault? No. We are supposed to obey the protocol. In doing so, Togo were giving waivers, and we saw a letter from the office of the president telling them to issue waivers, and the shipping line refused to give. They refused to give. We saw a letter from the office of the president requesting the lines to give waivers to the cargoes, and they refused to give. Why? It hasn't been done. Have you, have you had engagement with the uh, authorities, the managers, we, and what has been the reaction? But we sent a letter to the shipping lines. They said, yes, we heard it, but nothing happens. So we believe the law has been there, but no enforcement. That's what we think. The law is there, but there's no enforcement. Mine is with the waivers and the demolish aspect of the work. My brother, my brother. Thank you. One day is 750 Ghana a day. 750 just a day. Before the, before the terminal charge, you demolish alone 750 guys a day, single day, before the rent at the Gapoha. Okay, so I mean, as you can see, I mean, the, the importers, the freight forwarders, Ivan, all those who are here this morning are not excited and enthused about the implementation of Unipass and citing numerous challenges which they say is affecting and impacting negatively on their business. They want government clearly to scrap the Unipass and reintroduce the system with uh, West Blue and GCNet. They believe that that is more efficient than what has been introduced now. Well, the NDC is still going ahead to engage some of the stakeholders to really understand the problem. Of course, we're bringing you all the updates as and when it happens. I am Christy Parker Wilson, and I'm here currently at the Tema Port uh, GRA uh, uh, um, Revenue Center, where there seems to be a bit of a chaos here at the moment.